Hello YouTube and hello to my dear subscribers, a new video from Carla. And today I'm gonna ramble a bit about my first impressions with Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I can only speak about the PC version because due to the multiplayer aspect and my not being willing to pay any company to play online so PlayStation 4 was out of the question um, I picked the PC version of Mass Effect Andromeda and uh, as well because yeah it supports a good frame rate and resolution but that's uh, beside the point mainly it was uh, I can play it with a PlayStation 4 controller or the mouse and keyboard which I prefer and uh, so I picked the PC version of uh, Mass Effect Andromeda and I'm just gonna ramble a little bit about it um, first if you watched my last two videos you know that I played Horizon Zero Dawn and after Horizon Zero Dawn uh, I bought Far Cry Primal uh, I was like yeah I like Horizon Zero Dawn with a bow and a spear so let's try uh, Far Cry Primal I may like that game as well so I, I bought Far Cry Primal for it was gladly it was cheap for 15 euros so it wasn't very expensive but I had one of the most horrible experiences with Far Cry Primal to my opinion that game is so horrible it's really 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 nothing compared to Horizon Zero Dawn uh, maybe if you played uh, Far Cry Primal first then without the experience of Horizon Zero Dawn but if you play Horizon Zero Dawn first and then go to Far Cry Primal then you, you, you notice the differences it's 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 uh, yeah it's it's nothing compared to horizon i'm not gonna go too too deep but there's no interesting story um, th there's so much going on so uh, far cry primal i was and i was able to enjoy it well enjoy is a big word for two hours i played it two hours and then uh, no no thank you and then the 23rd of march that's three days ago now Mass Effect Andromeda was released in the EU the USA got it two days earlier than we did even if it's a digital download um, we got it the 23rd and uh, that's the game I'm gonna ramble about and if you have been investigating a little bit about Mass Effect Andromeda on, on YouTube or reviews the first thing you will stumble upon is the, the, the facial animations I have seen some hilarious hilarious YouTube videos uh, I will link one or two uh, you, you gotta watch them <laughs> yeah you'll be laughing your behind off I, I can promise you um, that's that's the first thing you stumble upon if you in, start investigating this game the facial animations and um, yeah if you compile them into a four minute video and the game seems so bad but it's not throughout the whole game um, but I must say it's it's very unlike a triple A Mass Effect game to have this this kind of facial animation and animation problems uh, in a Bioware game triple A uh, they should not be there and I know uh, Mass Effect Andromeda was basically created by BioWare's B team. Their A team is working on a new IP, which will be released next year. I don't know what game they are working on, but it's, the rumors say it will be some kind of Destiny kind of game. So uh, they put their B team on, on Mass Effect Andromeda. And, uh, yeah, this is what you get and probably EA wanting to, to have the, the game released at a set date 
uh, the 21st of, uh, of March. Uh, the pressure of EA as well, I guess. And the B team made the facial animation problem. But does it ruin the game? No. no, no. It, it makes some hilarious moments. But it, it's, it's not in your face throughout the whole game. It's, it's not a big annoyance. Uh, to say, uh, yeah, sometimes it's funny to see things that happen. But, uh, yeah, the next thing you will, if you investigate it a bit deeper, there was somebody on the development team who is um, kind of racist on Twitter. Uh, he made a couple or lots of tweets about his hate for white people. And uh, I don't care if, if, if it's against white or black or purple or yellow or Hispanic or whatever group, ethnic group. Um, if I make such a comment on, on Twitter about another ethnic group, I'm sure if my boss finds out, he will sack me the next day. Uh, such things are just not done. But Bioware, they, they kept him employed and EA stated one day before the release of Mass Effect Andromeda that this guy is not working for Bioware anymore. But that's much too late. They should have... Um, should not have accepted this kind of employee in the game. Uh, as developer in any firm or company. Uh, it does not decrease the fun or um, it does not degrees the, the, the how the game is but it's a small thing and something as well about the facial animations um, somebody I watch on YouTube mentioned well the facial animations are not a huge problem which they aren't, because it's not always that you get confronted with that. But then he stated, um, but, but, but those things will be patched out later. And that argument is valid, but it's not so valid. If you look at from, I buy this game from, for full price, day one, and I'm having the problem with the facial animations well I pay the full price you know let's say they are able to patch the facial animation problems in about three months they will release a patch and all the facial animation and normal animation problems are gone but then the game will probably be sold for 60% of the price that I paid you know, and that's the problem with games these days. When you buy a new game, most of the time you buy just, a, it's not broken, but you, you buy an unfinished product. And somebody who buys the game six months later for half price, they get the product as it should be. Now, there are exceptions. Uh, wink, wink, Horizon Zero Dawn. Which are giving you a game that fully works without any major problem uh, but most of the games if you buy them day one new you're having all kinds of different problems with you have yeah, yeah they can patch them out but I'm already done playing that game which I I'm your best customer I paid full price for that for that game but I got the worst quality game you, you could give me. So yeah, they can patch it out, but um, so yeah, it is best to wait a half year. These days, it's best to wait half a year for for new game. Just wait half a year and let them patch it, and then you get it with forty percent lower in price as well. Um, so that's what I mean, wanted to mention as well about the facial animations. Uh, now the game offers single player and multiplayer. And yeah, with, with, with which one should I start first? Let's start first with the multiplayer. <laughs> I, 
I think so far I am now 25, 25 hours of playtime. And I think I put 13 hours in multiplayer and 12 hours in single player. And that's, for me, that's, that's reverse, really reverse um, how I normally play a game. Uh, normally I'm, I'm not interested much in multiplayer and I just cannot stop single player. But the way multiplayer works is, is, is kind of interesting. And myself, I never played Destiny because I cannot play it. Because, yeah, you got to pay Sony and I refuse that. So I hope Destiny 2 will be um, a PC release on uh, September the 2nd, I heard. But that's just a rumor. Uh, and we didn't hear if it's going to be released on PC, but I hope so. I want to try out Destiny so bad. Uh, but... So I do, didn't play Destiny, I don't play Call of Duty, I don't play Battlefield. So the multiplayer of Mass Effect Andromeda offers some things I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, that are new for me. Uh, you have multiple different characters which you all can level up, which is awesome. You, have, you can level up a bionic specialist if you like. And you start with uh, skills very basic. And each time you level up in multiplayer with that class, you can increase the skill. So that's quite awesome. And then you have those reward packs, which uh, are new for me as well. I, I never played. I, I, I'm not into shooters anyway much. Um, so you got those reward packs as well, uh, bronze, silver, gold. And of course, they got to make money at EA. Uh, you, you can buy those packs with real money as well, but if you play the game, you can buy the, uh, those packs with uh, in-game currency, which you get after uh, playing a mission co-op. So uh, you don't have to spend real money on this, but uh, it's understandable they make it available for real money as well. If, if, if people want to dump in uh, hundreds of dollars, they can't just buy those packs. Uh, but I'm just uh, I'm playing the game and I'm buying the packs and what I get is okay. And uh, if I don't get the card I want, uh, maybe next time. And uh, yeah, it's 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 quite quite good the multiplier. Um, it's a shame it only has five levels or maps, five maps, and the maps are basically basically a building with a couple of layers. And uh, so it's not huge co-op maps that you can play together. No, it's, it's just four, four players in a small map, one building, a couple of layers, shoot enemies. Uh, you always get seven waves. And uh, some waves are just survive, so you have to kill all the enemies. Some wave you have to hack a position, so you got to move your team to some position and hack something which takes two minutes. But you gotta defend that position for two minutes to to be able to hack it, uh, kill specific enemies. I think the, the normal thing. But uh, yeah, it's, it, for me, it's great fun. Uh, but probably it's because uh, the, the leveling up system. If there was no leveling up or card system in the multiplayer, I think I would have done would have done playing it with in three matches. Like okay, yeah, this is fun. But, uh, let's go back to single player. But because you, got, you are able to level up so many classes and find out which class you prefer most, um, that makes you go back much more than, than if it would not have those things in it. So multiplayer for me is great fun. Um, I'm playing with, on the PC, I'm playing with, I haven't played the game with mouse and keyboard yet. I, um, at the moment I prefer sitting on the couch Watching the TV with my PlayStation 4 controller connected to the PC and uh, play Mass Effect and drama. Then. But today I'm gonna try multiplayer with mouse and keyboard, see how that goes, especially for the aiming. Um, controller has a, uh, lots of good things, but aiming is always, to my opinion, much more precise with, with mouse. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how, how well it goes with, uh, with keyboard and mouse today. So multiplayer is for me quite fun. Um, then we, of course we got the single player with this, the, the, the bread, and bat, bread and butter of this game. And 
I am not disappointed. If you watch all those negative videos and stuff about Mass Effect Andromeda, you start looking at it, well, this game is trash, man. This, this, this could never be a good game. But for a Mass Effect game, I, I, to my opinion, they did quite a good job. And you notice it's, it's, it's the B team. But I like how you get into game into the game. I like that very much. I like the open planets. I like that very much. Um, the characters in the game, the NPCs, the interactable NPCs on your ship and on the bases, uh, they are absolutely not as good as Mass Effect 2. I think it, it Mass Effect 2 characters are so great. Uh, Garrick or Garrett. Uh, Miranda uh, and all those people I for forgot the names about but the characters in Mass Effect 2 they stand out um, in Mass Effect Andromeda I have less of a bonding with my crew as I did in Mass Effect 2 but the gameplay is good the story is nice the voice acting is not so bad as those videos make you believe uh, the one problem is there is a Krogan and if you know uh, what was it called Rex in Mass Effect 2 if you remember the voice of the Krogan Rex in Mass Effect 2 uh, <laughs> the Krogan in this game they do not sound like that at all there is a Krogan and he's got almost the same voice set as I have and <laughs> that's not fitting for a Krogan a Krogan should be a um, deep, low, r roaring voice, you know. And so when I first met that Krogan, and he, with the voice like I have, it's it's so unfitting. That that makes you wonder what, who made the decision to make a Krogan sound like he does. But the NPC Krogan, you will get in your team later in the game. He's got it. It he is okay. -ish. It's still no Rex. But he is a little bit better voiced. So, um, all those problems aside, I think Mass Effect Andromeda, I paid 48 euros, so I did not pay 60 euros for the game. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. And uh, I'm glad I give it a, 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 a shot. It's a shame of those animation problems, uh, facial animations and stuff. But uh, if you're a fan of Mass Effect, um, Maybe you, you'll be a little bit disappointed, or maybe like I am, I'm, I'm not disappointed with this game. I'm, I'm, I'm truly enjoying it. And like I said, the open areas on planets, and there is stuff to do. Um, if you compare that to Mass Effect 1, where you go to a planet, uh, you find a base, and you infiltrate the base, and basically that's it. But here the, the planets are quite huge, a little bit like uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. And there are some, yeah, some, some small, small minor things to do on the planet if you like side questing and looking for minerals and stuff, and which I like. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not rushing through the storyline to finish a game. That's why I also uh, try to do anything or did did anything I was able to do in Horizon. Uh, I, I like that. I like to 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 just walk through the areas and go to every corner instead of rushing to the next waypoint for the next mission. I'll, I'll make my own path and look around. And that's how I am able to play Mass Effect and Drop as well. So yeah, there, there are people who have rushed the, the, the game in 16 hours. But um, I'm still on, on the planet EOS, which is, I think, the re first real planet, maybe the second. Um, and I'm just driving around, exploring, and if I'm looking for mining sites and, and stuff to do, and, and so I will never. So you can rush the game in 16 hours, but you can also explore and, and see what's there to do and talk to everyone on the stations. Then, then the game will really, uh, I think, give me 60 or more hours of gameplay. Especially how slow I am mostly in games. 
So the most surprising aspect is uh, that I'm really enjoying the multiplayer, but maybe not for long. Once you get your level up on your character, uh, then you start to notice, yeah, there are only five levels, and there are only three groups of different enemies. So it's, it's the multiplayer is very limited, but it's great fun. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is the performance on the PC. Um, I heard some people complain about the performance of Mass Effect and Drona on their PC with a 1060 NVIDIA video, video card that it wasn't performing. And me myself, I have a 970 GTX with an Intel Core 6700K and 16 gigabytes of RAM and even with a 970 GTX which to my opinion is still a great video card it I have I have not had any problem in multiplayer or single player um, it's it's 60 frames second per second lock the only exceptions are when the game is loading something then it will drop a bit you will have uh, just a few frame skips you'll see it dip for a microsecond and then but then it goes back to 60. Um, I have no problem on EOS or on the first tutorial planet or on a uh, spaceship or basis it's always 60 frames a second um, but I have not uh, of course I disabled the frame film grain I disabled I don't think I have shadows on super high. I switch shadows to a bit lower. And so if you are willing, look, if you have a video card which is outdated, you cannot expect to, to run every game on ultra, on ultra settings. So I don't need this game on ultra or on 4K. If I want that, yeah, then I should have invested on a video card that costs $800 or euros, you know. But uh, my monitor or TV is just 1080p, and uh, yeah, so a 970, if you just reduce, for me, uh, I reduce the shadows, and if you do that, then the game runs at 60, so uh, why, why should I want super HD ultra shadows uh, when I was not able or willing to pay the, that much money to have them? And to my opinion, they are not th that important anyway. They still look good at uh, at high. So uh, yeah. So for me, it the game the game performs great on PC. I have no problem with it uh, anywhere. Anywhere. And uh, I think that's where I will stop the video. Is it worth your money? Mm, Forty eight euros. Yes. Sixty five euros because that's the the the, the, the price of the game so for the PlayStation Four here in Europe. Mm. I'm not sure. 65 euros. Mm. But uh, it's 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 still a good Mass Effect game. That's 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 what I wanted to relate, or uh, that's just one of one what I wanted to say. In short, it's still a good Mass Effect game. It is if you like Mass Effect game for their lore and the science fiction. This game will deliver. I, I, I almost guarantee you. Uh, so, uh, thank you for listening. Because watching this, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's not much to watch. But um, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, hope you liked it. Um, leave a comment if you're if you are playing this game or if you are planning to game uh, to buy this game. Uh, like I said before, I will leave two links to some very funny videos. But, and if you take that, only those kind of videos, your opinion will be, well, this game is crap. But it's, it, it's a compilation of all the worst moments in just four minutes. And then, yeah, the game looks like trash. But if you play it, there's... It's, it, it, if you play it, it's not that it's bad. It, it, I'm having great fun with it, so... Uh, it's not ruining my, my experience with Mass Effect game. So, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I will get 
to a review someday. But we're just how many days away from Persona 4? We're just nine days from Persona 4. So uh, I have a feeling I am not, I will not be able to complete Mass Effect and Tromula before Persona 5 gets released. And uh, like I said in my Horizon Zero video, every game has to drop for me for Persona 5. 4th of April. Um, I don't care how, how far or uh, not far I am in Mass Effect Andromeda or whatever game. When Persona 5 drops, I will be. Oh my god, I will be in Persona 5. And then after I complete Persona 5, I'll maybe look back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to make a review for this game. Thanks for listening again, guys. And, uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye from Karna.